Hello, my name is Bevy Escobar, and I'm one of the school nurses for Paris Union High School District. Today, I'm going to be discussing COVID-19, also referred to as coronavirus. What is the coronavirus? COVID-19 is a new type of virus that recently started making people sick. You may have heard the term novel coronavirus, novel meaning new. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness that can spread from person to person. How COVID-19 spreads. Respiratory droplets are produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The picture to the right is an example. Droplets will land on surfaces mouths or noses of people who are nearby, or breathe directly into the lungs. Infection spreads between people who are in close contact with one another, approximately six feet. What are the symptoms? Symptoms can include fever of above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or above 38 degrees Celsius, cough, or difficulty breathing. Symptoms may appear two to 14 days after exposure. It's very important that you call your doctor and notify the school's health office if you have the signs and symptoms of fever, cough, difficulty breathing, and have recently traveled or been in close contact to someone who has recently traveled to China, Iran, Italy, Japan, or South Korea. Or if you've been in close contact with a person who has been positively diagnosed with COVID-19. Again, I want to stress that you must have the signs and symptoms with the additional risk factors that I just mentioned. So how can you protect yourself and others from COVID-19? One of the key ways of stopping the spread of coronavirus and other germs is going to be to wash your hands. It's very important to wash our hands regularly to remove the germs from our hands and stop the spread of germs to others. You want to start by wetting your hands with clean running water. The water can be warm or cold and apply soap. You can lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap, making sure that you're not only lathering the palms of your hands, but also the back of your hands between your fingers, under your nails, your thumb, and your wrists. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you need a timer, you can hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end two times at a normal pace. You want to rinse your hands well under clean running water and dry them with a clean towel or you can air dry them. If soap and water are not available, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. You can find the percentage of alcohol on the label. You also want to avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth since that's a way for germs to enter your body. You also want to make sure to clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Examples are your desk, computer, and cell phone. I want to really reinforce the importance of cleaning your cell phone since that frequently comes in contact with your face. Another way of preventing the spread of coronavirus is going to be to stay home if you're sick. The only exception should be if you're seeking medical care. Also, avoid close contact with others who are sick. You want to make sure to cover your cough and sneezes with a tissue. Use the tissue once and dispose of it. 
You never want to put your tissue on a surface because that's how germs spread. If you don't have a tissue available, you can also use your sleeve. However, very important that you never cough or sneeze into your hands since our hands come in contact with multiple surfaces throughout the day. So let's recap. How can you protect yourself and others from COVID-19? You can stay home when you're sick, limit close contact with people who are sick, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. If you have no tissues, use your sleeves, not your hands. Also, use face masks only if you've been instructed to do so by your healthcare provider. Finally, you can get a flu shot to prevent influenza if you have not already done so this season. If you're interested in learning more about the coronavirus, you can visit the Riverside University Health System Public Health or Center of Disease Control websites.